You cannot wear high heels. Welcome to my channel, Marie Adventure. I'm so tired. I'm, I didn't get enough sleep last night because I want to make sure that I wake up early and I can be there on time at the USPS for my final processing hiring assignment. So there are two final processing. One is um, the fingerprinting. You will receive a letter that says fingerprint and then final processing. And then this one is final processing hiring assignment. So this is what happens when you go to USPS for this final processing Okay, so um, normally uh, the schedule is early. Mine is 7.15 a.m. So uh, I left the house at 6 because you know what? I know it's too early, but you never know what's going to happen on the road, right? I want to make sure that I got that covered. So be there on time. Why? I'll let you know why. The, during the final processing hiring assignment, first they will tell you to go to a certain meeting place inside USPS plant. For instance, uh, in LA, they will tell you to go to the atrium. The atrium is a huge area where people can sit and wait. So. It's different in another plant, but that's what happened here in, in LA. And then uh, after you wait at the atrium, uh, people from these human resources will come and then they will t take you to another place. So when you're late and then the HR already gather the people and took them to another place or section of the building, you won't know. <laughs> you will not know. because, And also, you cannot go in because only people who are working there can access that place. So, the HR, we, came to, we went to the atrium or the meeting place, and then the HR came, and then they gathered us, and then took us to the inside took us inside the plant so the only person who can access or have access to the door to the plant are the employees who work there so so if you're late you cannot get in okay so be on time or early and then they, they took us to the bathroom to the ladies room and men's room to wash our hands you know uh, if you're watching right now it's still a uh, quarantine, COVID-19, coronavirus season. So, they took us to the bathroom, the ladies' room, and then we washed our hands. And then after that, they gave us hand sanitizer. And then after that, we line up in one single line near near the wall. Because, uh, you know, the inside the plant, there are forklifts. We went to the second floor. We went up to the second floor. And then in the second floor, there is like a area. It's, it's like a classroom or maybe a conference area, but it's huge. It's a big, uh, it's a big room with many tables. And then they got folders. I mean, the HR are holding the folders. Those are our files. So they will call your name one by one. And then when they call your name, they will tell you where to sit. There, in LA, there are like three batches. So the first batch that they called will sit on the left. And then the second batch sit on the right. And the last batch, the third batch, sit at the back or another area. So um, later I will tell you why. They, why they separated it. So anyway, they will give you uh, thick paperwork, maybe only 
It's not that thick, don't worry. Maybe about 20 pages. So what's inside the documentation, you're going to fill that out. So it, it composed of I-9, you know, your tax form, and then uh, rules and regulations, assignment, dates of orientation, and then the addresses of the plant you will be assigned to. So uh, let me read this. So this is what I, what I received on the email. It says, uh, USPS Mail Processing Assistant Hiring Assignment. You have been scheduled to report on Wednesday at 7 p 7 15 a.m. at South Central Avenue. Mail Processing Assistant for Los Angeles District. So that's what I received. And then it says here to wear your mask and then where to park. And then make sure you follow what they said on the email. They said, please ensure you wear tennis shoes. We will be walking across the work for work room floor for processing. No sandals, no heels. Uh, if you wear improper shoes, you will be sent home. Business casual attire, no shorts allowed and then uh, when you get to the room they will ask for your California ID or driver's license and for your original social security card if you don't have any of those two uh, you will be sent home okay also they will tell you to turn off your phone so when they say they said that before we even entered the plant. So, if you did, if you will not turn off your phone or at least vibrate it and hide it, you will be sent home too. So, I'm telling this to you right now because I don't want you to be sent home. I want you to get the job. So, uh, this is a public service to you that please follow the rules. The USPS is a federal building and the mails are confidential. So you cannot take pictures, you cannot do vlogging <laughs> inside, maybe outside, but not inside. And then when we were upstairs filling out our documents, uh, you will get the, uh, yeah, I'm holding this paperwork. So you will, you will know what I'm talking about. So first they will bring you, they will give you your orientation time uh, and date. But you know what? They will ask you when do you want your orientation time and date to be. So uh, they will let you pick. There, there are dates and then you will pick. Well, let me tell you something. I think it depends on your score from the test. If you have a good score or you pass the exam and get a 90s and above, because the passing is 70 and the perfect score is 100. So if you are in the high 90s, you will have the chance to pick the location. But uh, for me, I want to pick the closest location, but the only time they have for that are evening shift, like 9 p.m., 12 a.m., things like that. So, oh, I, I cannot do that. I mean, I prefer morning shift because I want to be my I want to give my best I want I want them to be I want them to see that I'm doing the best my best work my best effort but I cannot do that in the evening because I'm not used to it I'm not used to stay up late so this is standards of appearance in the workplace 
So uh, this is common sense. You cannot wear high heels. And then the only shoes allowed is a leather working shoes anti-slip. It's like um it's like a tennis shoes but leather. The fabric is leather. And then um, it's, it, you should wear cl closed shoes, leather shoes, and not more than one inch high. The reason why is because uh, I think it's a hazardous if you will wear something that high and it will hamper your performance. And then proper attire, do not wear during at work, you cannot wear sleeveless anything that's showing your skin, I mean your undergarments, you know. Let me see, you know. The following items should not be worn on the workroom. Oversized clothing, lounging outfits, t-shirt like material, overalls, coveralls, tank tops, halter tops, midriff, bearing tops, oversized tee, any clothing with offensive images or writing, see-through blouses, stirrup pants, bandanas for head, for the head, not for covering your face. Trouser, trousers belt line should not be below the waist. You know, uh, there are guys who wear their pants very low. That's not allowed. You should pull your pants up, okay? And then they will give you uh, your role in protecting U.S. mail. So it says here that you cannot steal mail, you cannot tamper mails. In short, if you steal or remove anything inside the package or letters or any article thing contained therein, shall be fined not more than $2,000 or imprisoned not more than five years or both so you will go to jail you know it's a federal offense so thank you for watching thank you for patience i know it maybe this is a little longer but that's what happened it's it's a long process today it takes about three hours so um next time i'm gonna tell you about orientation so thank you please subscribe to my channel because i'm gonna make more videos about USPS hiring process and working for the United States Postal Service. Thank you. Please subscribe and leave a comment below. Any comment, good or bad, leave a comment. Thank you. Bye.